Hello, everyone. I'm Ayana, a VTuber. Today, I will explain how to apply and adjust effects. Let's begin. Let's start. There are many different effects available in After Effects, so you can create a variety of visual expressions by using and combining these effects. First, click to select the layer you want to apply the effect to on the Timeline panel. Next, choose the effect you want to apply. There are three ways to select the effect. The first way is choosing the effect from the Effect tab on the menu. From the Effect tab, Transition, select CC Glass Wipe. The second way is choosing from the Effects and Presets panel. From Window tab on the menu bar, select Effects and Presets panel to display this panel. The effects are aligned by category, so you can click the category to display the effects in each category. To apply an effect, select the effect you want to apply and drag and drop it directly into the layer in the Timeline panel. You can also apply the effect by first selecting the layer and then double-clicking the effect. The final way is applying effects by right-clicking. On the Timeline panel, right-click the layer to which you want to apply the effect and select the effect from the menu displayed. The effect has been applied to the layer. On the Effect Controls panel, the properties of the applied effects have been also displayed. In the Effect Controls panel, the applied effects will be displayed in the order which they were applied. Next, let's change and adjust the value of the applied effect properties. The value of the effect properties is mostly displayed in number. If you want to change the value of the property, you can adjust it by clicking the number and then typing it on the keyboard or dragging the value bar. You can change the values for properties such as entering angles by typing them on the keyboard or by dragging to move the dial from side to side or rotating the dial. Also, you can choose the type by clicking to display a list. To delete an applied effect, Select the effect you want to delete in the Effects Control panel and press the Delete key on the keyboard to delete it. If you apply multiple effects to one layer, depending on the order of applying the effects, the output may be different. To change the order in which the effects are applied, in the Effect Controls panel, click to select the effect you want to change the order. You can change the order by dragging and dropping it to the position you want to move. After changing the order, Camera Lens Blur Effect will be placed above CC Glass Wipe Effect. Changing the order of effects changes the display of the composition panel and rendering results. To reset the value of the effect's property, Click the Reset button on the right of the effect in the Effects Control panel, and all the properties will return to the value that they started. If you want to turn on off all of the effects applied to the layer at once, click the FX button on the Timeline panel. If you want to switch on off for each effect, you can click the FX on the left side of the effect in the Timeline panel. Alternately, you can click the FX button on the left side of the effect in the Effects Control panel to show or hide it. We can check the result on the Composition panel while switching the effect on and off. This is the end of the lecture on how to apply and adjust the effects. How is everyone doing? Did you understand today's lecture? If you found today's lecture useful, please subscribe. If you have any requests, please let us know in the comments below. See you again for the next lecture. See you soon. Bye-bye.